Hey folks, this is Karen Trepti, KT Finances, formerly Gaijing Works Coaching, which evidently nobody could spell or pronounce, so I am actually rebranding to KT Finances, but I'm the same person, same Karen Trepti, so so happy to be here with you today and talk to you about something that is so important. I just wrote a blog on this, so if you want to see a very short version, you're welcome to go and check that out. But I actually love to just chat with you guys and um, be here in case you have any questions. So you can always hop on. If you're watching a replay, you can always comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Things have been pretty busy this summer, especially for summer. Oh my gosh. It's just been going by fast before I know it. It's going to be, it's going to be August. So what I want to talk to you about today, um, for those of you who have followed me and know that I work with finances and investment, thank you for that thumbs up. Finances and investments and time management, which actually, folks, there's so many similarities between time management and money management. That's why I keep that together in my niche. But for those of you who have followed me with the time management piece, you know that I am a huge fan of Stephen Covey. So I want to give him, I know he's passed, but I want to give him all the credit for influencing me with this concept of dividing your life, I guess. He did it with a time management, and I've done that on my feng shui time management as well. But you can in, you can divide things into a quadrant of four. So to keep this simpler, I'm only going to talk about two of the distinctions today, and that is important versus urgent. Okay, so we all know, just to give you an example outside of finance for a minute, we all know that health is important, right? I mean, how could you not know that? But sometimes, including me, we don't let that be our priority because we don't think it's urgent. And, of course, although I plan to go to the gym later today, going to the gym today, just talking about today, it's not urgent. If something comes up with my family, I've got to take my son to the doctor like I did yesterday. Thanks so much for the heart, guys. I'm glad you're on. Um, I can't see any comments yet, so just know that. If you're typing comments, I'll have to come back to them, but perhaps they'll pop up. Technology still, like, mystifies me. So, if I don't go to the gym for one day, it's not a big deal. If I eat pizza all day long, which would actually make me sick, <laughs> but if I did that all day long for just one day, my health probably well, might be, yeah, not feeling so great. But on the overall terms, it wouldn't really affect it, right? So, Let's talk about finances now because I just hopped off a call with a really sweet friend of mine who's in her 20s who's so inspiring to me because she's thinking about money now, which believe me, for people in their 20s, in my experience, is unusual. Not only that, I'm so proud of her, and of course I won't give names, I always keep privacy, but she saves 20% of her money and she's really doing great in her business, and um, I'm just so proud of her. So when you think about retirement, if you're in your 20s, and I get it, I totally understand, it's hard for me to ask you that question like, what do you want in retirement? You're like, Karen, I'm only in my 20s, man. I'm not even thinking about that stuff at all. And I've talked to people, I have friends in their 30s, in their 40s, 
who still say exactly the same thing. It's not their top priority. And of course, I totally understand. In fact, I would pose it to you that it even gets <laughs> a little more difficult as we get older to save that money. Totally the reverse of what a lot of people think. Like this friend of mine who's in our 20s, she's not married yet. So she has total control of her finances. She doesn't have any children yet. So she doesn't have any of those expenses. So less expenses, more control in her 20s, nice and young. If you watch my YouTube on compounding interest, you'll, I talk all about the time value of money. So, sometimes, oh, and she's saving for a house. Let me, let me remember that because I think that's important. So, she doesn't have that expense yet. She doesn't have her mortgage yet. So, you see this picture? How if you actually start saving your money when you're in your 20s, not only will it grow faster, because you have more time, the time value of money, for it to compound. But you also have, forgive me, but I'm going to say it, a simpler lifestyle. I know it doesn't feel like that in your 20s. I do actually remember that, guys. It feels really complicated and it can feel really overwhelming and actually not having as much direction or as clarity as maybe we do in the decades that go on. But now let's watch what happens if you wait until, and I'm going to throw some figures in here. You don't have to remember them. You can go back and look at the slide I did on compound interest if you want to. But for example, if you start saving $10,000 when you're in your 20s, according to the rule of 72, don't worry about that concept either. It's in the other video. At 1% of interest, you're only going to come out with $20,000. It's going to take 72 years for that money to double. Now, if you are building your savings at 12% interest, then it's actually going to double every six years. So you can see, kind of see how much faster that goes. So what I really want you to come away with, yes, there are things that are important. Yes, there are things that are urgent, that are like calling our attention right now. And maybe retirement, that whole big concept, is not something in your mind as urgent right now. And I would say if you don't do anything today about it, fine. But I would plead with you even, I'm so passionate about this, what I do, to know that it's super important to plan for retirement. And the earlier you start, actually, the less money you have to put aside to reach your goal. So... Take me up on it, guys. Take me up on my free financial consultation. Always happy to meet you. Always happy to chat with you. Know that I sit on your side of the table. I'm like a personal shopper, like a personal shopper at Nordstrom's. They line up all these dresses, right? And they don't care which one you buy. It's the same thing with me. I market for over 100 different companies. And having had my father open Merrill Lynch in Panama and Tokyo, um, I'm just so passionate about finance and I love it. So remember that finance, savings, retirement, it is uber important. Even if it's not urgent today, there's a phone call, we'll just decline that. Even if it's not um, 
so urgent today. It is very, very important. So I look forward to um, helping more and more people on calls get all set up. And I would love for you to be one of them. Um, reach out to me on easy to find. Even though I'm rebranding, I'm still just me. Um, KT Finances, which should be easier to remember. And you're welcome to um, book in with me. And we will take the time that it needs to go over your specific situation. Oh, well, the other thing is that I wanted to tell you about is that I am going to be having an event offering a free full hour of coaching or up to a free hour, however many people come on there. And I'll start that um, in August, so you can see that on my page as well. So you guys have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. It's gorgeous here. And I'm about to get into play mode and sending you tons of light and love. And remember what's important in your life. The more things that you can do in that important column to take care of, the less things that become urgent. Okay. Ciao for now. Have a beautiful weekend. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.